I'm Tristy and this is the second part of moving a mean stack, mean JS app to Meteor. Uh, in this video, I want to have a bit of a look at the server side functions, primarily looking at the difference between sending emails using Express and sending emails using Meteor. When we have an Express app, or just like the Mean.js app um, that we looked at in the previous video, uh, there are three steps to sending out emails. First step is to um, have an Angular controller with a HTTP service. Um, we then use that service to connect to an Express route that we kind of use like an API. Uh, which routes us to the correct Express controller. So those are the three steps, the uh, Angular controller, the Express route, and the Express uh, server controller. In Meteor, we're going to have a quick look at what that means. But we'll actually cut down that, that down to two steps um, and cut out uh, a little bit of that routing process in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to just um, show you the app that I've currently got. So I'm just gonna jump to tab two. So at the moment, there's no server-side code. There's no express route. There's no express controllers being used here. It's gonna type in a name and an email and just a quick message, hit send. And you see um, in this message that appears up here, this is undefined. It has no reference back to the name of the person who's submitting this form. So we're gonna fix that up and actually use Meteor to do that. So I'm just gonna go across to the Meteor docs. So this is, you can just find this at docs.meteor.com. And I'm just gonna go down to email. I'm just gonna do a quick find and sort of not really in alphabetical order so i'll just take a little bit of finding there we go um so when i want to add email to meteor i need to add the the email package and so i can just copy that and just jump into my app i'm just going to close that and then just paste in what i've copied so just meteor add email so this will add the email package to meteor an interesting thing, this is a little bit different to if you're adding a bow package. The syntax is similar, but you don't have to go and add your CSS or JavaScript files as assets to your app. The Meteor package kind of includes them for you, which is pretty handy. That kind of saves you a step there. If you're using Angular, though, you just need to keep in mind that you may need to add um, any dependencies to your app so that um, so you can access them. All right, cool. So the package has been added. So let's so have a look at what happens next. If I scroll down a little bit, it gives me two examples. Firstly, it, there's a Meteor methods example, and this is the server side code. You can see that it has the name of the method here. So send email is the method. And you can call that by just using send email as part of this call kind of syntax. So I'm going to copy this. So this, this bit here sits on the client and the top bit here, here will sit on the server. So we can uh, try and reuse this as much as we want or change it up as much as we want to. So at the moment, the, um, the code for the uh, contact form has HTTP services. So I'm going to get rid of this so they can go because I don't need them anymore. I'm just going to go down. So send mail is the method. Uh, there's a data object that collects the different information from the contact form, such as the name, the email, the method. And then at the moment, it, it, that gets posted to this contact form route. So I'm going to change this up. Um, so down here, I'm just going to paste in. We're going to be using meteor.call uh, send email. So we can just leave it as uh, send email that should be okay and there's these other bits and pieces that are that are sort of happening here what i'm going to do is um is instead of using uh these different data elements instead of brackets i'm going to just pass in data just the same object that i would have passed through as part of the post and what i'm going to do is actually set up a little callback so i'm just going to say function um, either error or say result and just I want to just say what I want it to do if there's an error result so um, if there's an error let's just console log the error and otherwise 
what I'm going to do, get rid of this. So otherwise, um, what we're going to do is show this toast. And I'm just going to leave that the same. So I'm just going to get rid of this. That can pretty much just disappear. Because um, I'm passing back result, I'm just going to make this result dot contact name so that um, we can make sure to pass back the um, the data that we're actually sending out. Okay, so now that I've done that, I want to add a server controller for the server side of the email package. So I'm just going to go to core and add a new directory for server. So Meteor will know that um, if there's any code inside this directory, that it needs to use that for um, for the for server side code or as server side code, I should say. And I'm just going to create a JavaScript file in here. Just call it ooh, like send email server controller. Just to keep the same kind of conventions as, as I would in a, a Mean.js app, for example. Go back to the Meteor code and just grab what's sitting in the server side of the code now. And I'm going to plug that into this code. Um, what this tells us, it's got send email as the method. So that, so this Meteor call, which is a to send email with data, now will connect to send email here. Um, there's some things in this example that I'm not going to need. So I'm going to get rid of that and just pass through the data object. And I'm going to just extract out the data that I had in there. So if I just go back and just double check, I'm just going to copy these just as a reference. Um, just paste it here for a second. Um, so we're just checking to make sure that these are sent through a string. So just data dot contact name as the first one and do the same for the message as well. So now this can go. Um, so now when we when we pass through that object, we're going to just check to make sure that all of these three elements or attributes all have um, some some information in them and I think I'm missing a bracket yeah here so I just need to add that back in like that I'm going to just do a quick console log in case I need it just to make sure that I can see what's being passed through my data um, what I'm going to do is actually split this email send process out just normal JavaScript to um, to implement this this email send because I want to know if it fails and I want to send back an error if it does. So try and we'll just go var uh, and say email sent equals send. Uh, what's this? Maybe send email. Now, data, so we're just going to pass this through. So um, what I'm going to do is just take that and we're just going to add that uh, just outside of that method. So it's just going to be available to everything. And just pass that through again. So just data. And then copy this email send and plug that in here like that. Um, so that can go from there. So we're going to try this and just console log that it worked. And then just return data at the end of that if that works. So that will just go back as the result um, up for the client. Um, and then just catch error um, and then console log. Oops. And just whatever that error was. Okay, so that's 
pretty much there. So now I just need to have a look at what I want to do down here. So similar to what I would have done for say Node Mailer. So it's going to go from them uh, to say Jane at email.com and what else do I need? Subject, so that can be the message from and just the actual text in that message down the bottom here. So copy that and plug that in here. Okay, cool. Now I haven't set up any sort of um, outbound SMTP kind of protocol or anything like that. So what I'm going to expect is, um, as it sort of mentions in the docs, you need to send the emails outbound, then it will sort of show you a little message um, if it can't connect to the email server. Otherwise, you need to set up this mail URL, um, which you can you can do if you want to actually use this to send emails to yourself. So I'm just going to save that and just going to start up the app and just test that out. So what I want to see this time is that when I plug in a name in the contact form, I want to see that appear in the um, in the toast that's going to hopefully appear in the top um, top right. So to start it up, just Meteor, just give that a chance to start. Cool, once that's done, just jump across to the app. Just going to inspect elements so I can see what's going on. Let me just refresh that so that helps it along a little bit. Cool, so let's try this again. So Jane, Jane at email.com and hey, so hit send. Cool, so now it actually tells us that here's the name of Jane, so that gets passed back from the server. Um, and if we have a look over here in um, just in the, the Meteor terminal, it actually spits out the contents of the email that it would have sent if um, the mail URL had been set up. So it actually says here's the to, the subject, the from, and then the actual message itself. The key thing to note out of this is that when you're not using Express, you don't have to worry about the routes and setting up the controls to match the routes and that kind of thing. We're just using methods and method names to be able to talk um, or ba basically be able to um, communicate between the client, so where we call um, the send email method. And as long as that's available on the server, um, pretty pretty clever, uh, and it kind of reduces the amount of, of code, I guess, that's probably going to end up sitting uh, in your server directories. Um, I hope that helped give you a little bit of insight in how you can use the server-side functionality of Meteor, how you can take your apps um, from MeanJS to Meteor. So that's where I'm going to leave it today. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out bossable.com for more details, and I'll see you again soon.